back with another fun tech video and my oh my we have to use some imagination on this tech video today this tech video was started by Nick from Nick J Snell he is a gorgeous very eloquent youtuber who has amazing recommendations and reviews for luxury bags and I was delighted to have stumbled on his channel very recently so do swing by his channel which I will leave the links down below I've also been tagged by Jane Church and she has an amazing luxury content and quite a stunning iconic bag collection as well. So do check her channel out. My name is Loki and I welcome you back to my small corner where we talk about luxury, vintage finds and dream about many, many, many luxury bags. So if you're into content like this, then I would love to welcome you to subscribe and smash that like button to show some support. Now, the rules of this tech video is to build a 5-piece bag collection for this year and imagine that my current bag collection has been seized and is shipped off to a vault for the entire year which will be returned to me on the 31st of December 2022. Nick has been so kind to give a no price point limit on this 5-piece bag collection except that we cannot pick from the top 2 brands from our existing collection which in my case would be Hermes and Chanel. You must be thinking, thank God Loki is not talking about Hermes for once. And of course, the five bags cannot be from the same brand. Well, I thought long and hard about my choices because five bags is not very many that you can rotate around for the year. So we have to make each bag count. So my first pick would be the Mona Rajan in PM size in the color taupe in gold hardware. I picked a PM size so I can use this for work and I have always dreamed of an taupe or taupe color which is very neutral and pleasing to the eye and yet able to match with so many different attires through the year for work. This bag has a very unique shape and clean lines which quite resembles the historical Mona travel trunks. It also comes with a convenient sling for carrying on the shoulder which makes it even more versatile. In addition, this bag comes with a cute pochette which is very much like the Hermes Kelly and I'm sure she will remind me of my Hermes Kellys since I'm going to be missing them for a whole year. The dimensions of this bag is very much like the Kelly 28 as well for the Mona Rijan PM size. It goes by 26cm across, 11cm in width and 27cm in height and this is a comparison of how it would look right beside the Kelly 28. Now, the next on my radar is the Fendi Peekaboo Issue in small size. Now, this bag is already on my wish list for this year and I was kind of torn between the Sherling Fur one with the FF logo and the Peace in Dove Grey Leather with tortoise shell details. But since I'm going to only have 5 bags, I wanted something more neutral to carry through the year. Now, it is such a beautiful Fendi classic um, which is going to be handy for weekends or even to dress up on a girl's night out. It is a top handle bag which is my favourite design and I like the simplicity of this bag in terms of the silhouette. It is an open tote bag which is easy to reach in and out to grab my things. I think it is perfect to own one for this year. And next, I have two girly bags on my list. And the first is a Lady Dior in medium size with raisin pearl embroidery at $13,000. And because price isn't a factor here, I would love to have this bag for a year. Now, I've always, 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 always adored a Lady Dior for the longest time because it is such an iconic yet classic Dior statement piece. And a white bag in gold hardware would be an absolute dream. But then, while searching for this bag, I chanced upon something even better on their website which is the added pearl details across the bag and the cherry on top would be the Dior Charms which is all pearl studded which is so girly and sweet. Now, this statement piece would be the perfect bag for any dinner events, weddings or for special occasions through the year which I feel is a must have for my 5 bag collection. I will try to zoom in and show you some details so you can appreciate what a unicorn this bag is, well except for its price tag. Okay, my next and fourth bag which is another girly bag is the Louis Vuitton Capuchins in BB size 
But not just that, I have picked this one in the flower chain edition which has very beautiful golden chain links and jewel-like monogram flowers with the engraved LV signature. The pink is such a dream come true and it is almost like your pink Sakura unicorn. The leather top handle is slightly metallic and it has a leather strap to be used as a shoulder bag as well. Well, there is the navy blue and silver option for this bag but I feel that the baby pink is such a refreshing yet neutral colour for any dress up dates or girly catch ups along the year. Size wise it is 26.5cm across, 17.5cm in height and 9cm depth which is just slightly smaller than the Kelly 28 which I adore. And of course, my last and final bag in my dream collection has to be a somewhat workhorse bag for all occasions and that would mean the grocery run, a trip to the beach or a picnic and that is none other than the Chloe large basket bag. The amazing feature about this bag is its capacity to hold everything including the kitchen sink. Looking both casual yet sophisticated, I love its simple sleek outlines and the way the handles are attached to the bag is quite unique. Branding wise, you could almost miss it if you don't peer close enough but what I like about this bag which I only now discovered is that it reads, this basket is woven by hand and carries the story of its maker, signs of Agnes Molly. The description also states that it is made in collaboration with Mifuku and in Swahili that means pocket and I would assume that pocket means an income. This collaboration with their local artisans aims to empower and recognize the local artisans work with fair pay and a steady income. Though this is a simple yet sustainable basket bag, it is made in partnership with the World Fair Trade Organization which focuses on social enterprises that put the interests of people, the artisans and the planet first. I feel that Chloe's commitment to social and environmental responsibility is very respectable and definitely worth my support. In conclusion, I am quite happy with my newly curated 5 bag collection to last me for the year 2022. We have the Mona Rujan, the Fendi Peekaboo, the Louis Vuitton Capuchins, the Dior in the exquisite pearl details and this beloved Chloe basket bag. Tell me what you think about my selection and I would love to hear yours. Also, if you are a luxury YouTuber and would love to participate in this tech video, please do tag yourselves and let your imaginations and wallet run wild. I thank you for watching today and if you enjoy content like this, then I would love to invite you to join my corner and subscribe. Till then, take care and see you next week, queens. Goodbye!